as I stand over the sink, hands stained with the deep blue ink, deranged eyes that find skies passionate, bloody when the sunset starts to scatter its palette. The ink slips like silk through the drain and insane nails desperately try to claw at its remains. I hold to it like a mother holds to her doctrines, and my loss left only me to blame. My crime is neglect and its name burns holes in my bed frame when I try to sleep at night. My deep blue ink sinks down the drain as all I parade myself to be falls away. I'm enslaved to a pen and its loud calls of artistry echo back and taunts out the silence that's ensued. Deep blue ink clings to the brink of my skin as the water bites for its holding on the cliffs of my fingerprints, like kamikaze pilots sacrificing themselves to take it down with them. And when the night wallows and the sun screams at my hollow inflictions, the emotions that call to phlegm, the inflection of my voice, I will have nothing to say. It's pity and it's pride. The day I took my talent in stride is the same day I dropped it on its spine. Paralyzed neck down and I can't write with a pen that refuses to dance. So I'm grasping at strands of ink that once wrote out the skyline, taking its time to rhyme out how the sunset threw cities into a utopia, or the ink that once hemmed itself into the euphoria of love at first glance. Like a prophet sent to atheists, my writing was a kindness that was thrown to the wolves. I watched my hands be pulled into shapes like laziness and comfort, distracted and distorted from its falling calling, basking under shadows of indulged futilities. I mocked the utilities of practice and forgot that time left idle leads to crisis. In an attempt to wipe this silence, I bent my fingers into contortionists so that I could wrap themselves around big ideas and work through delicate topics. I've been dismissing the joys that I know are mine to take so I can write a story about how I faked a smile for a day. I tied my hopes around my neck in a way that would suffocate me when I would kick my dreams out from under me. And I've been hanging for days, left dry of the words that drenched the pages when I could stitch my heart into the seams, when my book took turns showing its face and all of its scars and all of its beauty. When my fingers could write yours truly to my emotions and in its sincerity address its valentines to anyone who would take the time to listen. Deep blue ink sinks down the drain like rain washing the sky away, giving its time into making way for a clean slate. Still any day each tectonic plate will break under the surface and our lives will not be claimed by worthless simplicity or casual repetition. And as the blue stains the sink in hues of its remains, my story is linked to others and my future. The ink spilling from our lungs as we breathe the stories messy in their description of tragedy and violent in their calamities. My stories will fall out my pen like a trail of fireworks leading each word to its explosion. And when nothing is being said, or the lead fades through the threading stitching my word to the paper, I will linger like smoke in the sky that outlines the carcass of my words. But until then, I have nothing left to say. <laughs>